Alrighty, common mistakes. Small m is meters, big m is molar. So don't use small m, because it's wrong. Number two, relative atomic mass has no units. It's a relative measurement. But molar mass is grams per mole. Make sure you are cognizant of that. And the definition for relative atomic mass, the mass is relative to carbon-12. And you have to say it's a weighted average of all the isotopes of that element. Otherwise, you won't get the two points available. For four, if they're going to ask you an empirical formula question, they're going to be tempting you to over-round. So by doing this simple one, you can see it's 1.3 and hydrogen 4. Don't be tempted to say C1H4. That would be wrong. You've over-rounded. Divide by the smallest number, and you'll get the numbers that you need. C1H3. Number five. Multiples of the empirical formula give you the molecular formula. But they could both be the same. The empirical and the molecular could be the same. The only trick with state symbols is that when you burn something, water is a gas, not a liquid, because it's a very exothermic reaction. For seven, I see people do percent yield wrong all the time. So don't think about it in terms of the equation that we give you. Just use your common sense. So let's say I wanted to make 50 grams of something, and I made 40. So that's an 80% yield and a 20% error. And if I wanted to make 50 and I made 60 grams, it's a 120% yield and a 20% error. Don't worry about the formulas and the equations. It's just confusing. So if I have two liters of that and one liter of that, I make three liters of sulfur trioxide. No, I don't. I make two liters. The coefficients reflect the volumes if the gas is the same temperature and pressure. And in fact, one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. So for example, what's the mass of 11.2 liters of helium at STP, or it won't work? So to me, that looks like half a mole of helium, which is two grams. Number 10. OK, ideal gas conditions. Think about it. If I've got a low temperature, my gas is going to want to turn to a liquid, so that's bad. And if I have a high pressure, my gas is going to want to turn to a liquid, and that's bad. So high temperature, low pressure, that's good ideal gas conditions. PV equals NRT. Pressure's got to be in kilopascals. They might give it to you in pascals. Temperature's got to be in Kelvin. Pressure versus volume is not a straight line. Pressure versus volume is a curved line. Solute, solvent, and solution. That was a very recent question people got wrong on the IB exam. Whatever's the least in the solution is the solute. The solvent is the most. And the solution, well, that's both together. Number 15. The mass of an electron is not minus 1. Nothing has negative mass. The charge is not negative 1, but not the mass. Don't fall for this little trick here. Don't forget to add that extra electron. Isotopes have the same chemistry and different physics. So same chemistry means that they, uh, they burn in the same way, give out the same energy, but the physics is different. Density, melting point, things like that. Iodine-131 is a radioactive tracer. You can't just say iodine. It has to be 131. For the mass spectrometer, they're going to try and confuse you between electric and magnetic fields. The electric field accelerates the ions. The magnetic field deflects the ions. There is no such atom with a 35.5 mass, but that's a weighted average, a product of the mathematics. Electromagnetic spectrum, past violet is ultraviolet. Think ultraviolet, that's high energy. The high energy end is the ultraviolet, ultraviolet end. 22. Periodic table is ordered by mass numbers. No, it's not. It's ordered by atomic numbers. The mass numbers, there are some uh, discontinuities. 2881, it's group 1, the last number. 
and period four because there are four numbers. 24, looking at reactivity, increases down the metals and increases up the halogens. 25, looking at atomic radii, it gets smaller as you go across. Even though you're adding protons, neutrons, and electrons, how's that possible? Because you're adding protons, which is putting in electrons that have been added to the same shell. 